Hey everybody, so today's video I'm going to be sharing you guys this cherry cola fine hair that I got on right now. This is from RPGshow.com and this lovely luscious hair, oh my god y'all, I am so in love. So y'all know the contents of everything that comes with it, but I had to get back to this beautiful ass wig y'all. So combs in the front and sides, adjustable straps in the back. And this is a dry run, so disclaimer, as of right now, this video is going to be long, it's going to be drawn out, it's going to be parts of hair that y'all are going to feel like I don't need to have in here that I would normally edit out or speed up. But I wanted to give you guys a thorough start to finish of me putting on my wig, customizing it, and styling it. So if anybody has any objections to that, you may want to go ahead and click out the video. Please don't leave me a comment telling me that all of this wasn't necessary because I felt it was necessary. So I'll put it in there. And excuse my voice. I've been sick the last few days. So I did notice that one of the sides was a little bit longer than the other. And had it been on the opposite side, I would have just left it the way it was. But I tend to like my hair longer on the left side. So... What I am pretty much going to do now is just go ahead and customize it. I don't want it in a center because I don't feel like I look right with center part bobs. So I'm just going to go ahead and part it off to the side. And as you can see, the hair has been trained to go over to or go in the middle. So what I'm going to go ahead and do is go, go through it. Like I said, part it off and then I'm going to heat up my pressing iron and then we're just going to press the stuff right on over to the side and then it will remain over there without me having to put any kind of product on it. pressed out boom so next what I'm gonna do is go ahead and start customizing it around my hairline I'm gonna take a rat tail comb and I always use the metal end rat tail combs because they're just more precise go through make sure my parting is correct and um, just pick out a little bit of hair around the perimeter just so that it'll blend better So I have my angled brush and I'm just going to lightly apply concealer. Nothing too heavy, y'all. I done seen some parts where y'all done over concealed. Now you leave that to your face. With a part, you don't have to put so much on because you don't really want it to look fake. You know, the whole part of this is to make it blend in and look real. So I'm going to go through, cut it up on my right side, which looks like the left to you guys, but it's my right side. I like my left side to be a little bit longer than the right. 
Um, so I'm just taking pretty much some off the back and up through to the front of the right side. And then I'll flat iron it and then, um, then you guys will see what's coming next. Just gonna go through with the flat irons now. This flat iron I got from um, Sally's Beauty, and this is from Gilbert de Paris. And for the life of me, off the top of my head, I can't remember which one this is, but this is the most recent one I've gotten. When I tell y'all I love these flat irons, they um, I think they were $59.99 or $64.99. But the good thing is that um, Sally's was having a buy one, get one free. So I bought a um, the pair of flat irons and I got a brand new hair dryer, which is something that I needed for free. And the hair dryer costs just as much as the damn flat irons. So I got two really good appliances for the price of one. So I'm a big advocate of Sally's Beauty Supply as far as their BOGO offers because they have some really good ones and these flat irons if you guys remember I fell in love with the first ones that I had I had those for like five years all right so this is me trying to figure out whether or not I want to keep it all this length or go down the side on my left side and just frame it a little bit and I ended up um you know having a moment there but I ended up uh, slithering down the side just a tad bit I mean nothing too dramatic I did not want to go in and chop up this wig because I'm really particular about the length of bobs so I just took a little piece up in the front and just slithered down the side of it just so that it'll frame me up a little bit and um, just bent it with the flat iron and you guys will see the end result so, yes, ladies and gentlemen, the style number to this wig is SC011S-S, and this is off the top of my brain, so I'm hoping that I'm right. The color that I have is called Claret or Claret, and, um, yeah, I'm, I'm loving it. I, I did not think that this was actually going to turn out to be as pretty as it is. It's actually a little bit brighter and red than in person than it is showing up on the video, but trust me when I tell y'all I am in love with this unit. This is another one, baby, that's going to be in the heavy rotation lineup. So just to cure some of these flyaways that I got going on, you take some old school, y'all, old school. Pump it up in a comb. Spray the comb lightly. Not a whole bunch. Lightly spray the comb. Comb it through. You'll get all of those flyaways out of the way. All right? All right, peeps, let me know in the description box what y'all thoughts are. Head on over to the blog because I will be posting more pictures. I'll try to have them up by the time this video is up. The uh, music in this video is from Adventure Club and it's an Andrew remix. All that will be in the info box. Let me know your thoughts. I'm going to talk to y'all in the next video.